Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Orpheus, and today I'm going to give you three tips for shotgunning in Trials of Osiris. I've been playing non-stop Trials the past two weekends, and I did some flowers runs with my clan and teammates, as well as doing some carries. The entire time I used a shotgun, and I learned a lot about the pace and positioning required of me to be effective on my team. I'm going to try my best to explain what I learned to see if I can help you or your teammates out. If you have one takeaway from this video, it's that you need to have patience as a shotgunner. I know many of us are used to the ape playstyle of flying at enemy guardians with a shotgun out and just haphazardly rushing in. This playstyle almost never works in trials, however. While sure, against some early teams, you might be able to just walk all over them, but in your later games on a card, you aren't going to be able to play hyper aggressively like you're used to. The best way to play is to play back until your sniper gets an opening pick and then push with the remainder of your team to control the orb. I found that trying to play overly aggressive, even after the opening pick, I would get picked myself and ruin our advantage because my orb would be in a disadvantageous spot for my team to play around. While being the superstar and playing aggro and getting frags like that is a lot of fun and it can win some rounds, it's more important to play more passive and as a team because that will secure more wins more consistently. Moving on we have positioning. One of your biggest jobs as a shotgunner is to protect your sniper. If pushed by the full enemy team, the likelihood of a sniper surviving is pretty low. As a shotgunner you should be positioned close enough to your sniper that you could rotate around to help against aggressive teams. You should also position yourself to help your team get kills to secure a round, not just try to increase your own personal kill death ratio. Put yourself in positions where you can use your primary to deal damage to peaking enemies or get team shot kills with the rest of your team. You should also position yourself in positions where your team can help you if you get pushed. If you fly up an angle into the enemy team and get killed in the 1v3, the enemy team is going to hold your res and the odds of your team winning are very low. If you are going to extend further into the enemy team's territory, do it while crouched and don't peek for information, but instead use your radar. Just make sure you aren't too far from your teammates that you get cut off. You need to position yourself so that you can receive help from your teammates if the situation arises. You should always be playing your life in trials and it's much better to secure a win by playing smart rather than trying to solo win games by being a superstar and giving away unnecessary deaths by getting picked. If you're playing in a triple shotgun team, the most important aspect of positioning is to play with your team at all times. One of the most oppressive things to play against in Trials is a team with good close quarter synergy. Three coordinated aggressive shotgunners pushing the same angle or solo player will result in several face fill rounds. Just be careful not to overuse this tactic as teams can adapt and start pre-firing with auto rifles or team shot you down with ease. One last thing you can do as a shotgunner is playing your radar. Your sniper is typically going to be holding angles and playing back, so you can run around and grab info to feed back to your sniper or mess with your opponent's radar and bait them into disadvantageous positions where your sniper can get a pick or you and your other teammate can get an easy 2v1. The final tip I have is to rely on your primary more than your shotgun. A big habit that myself and other shotgunners often run into is overly relying on your shotgun rather than your primary weapon. I mean, it's in the name, right? You should primarily be using your primary. If you're only using your shotgun to get kills, you can't safely help your team. It's much safer and more effective to play your primary range with your team and team shot the same targets and utilize your shotgun when an enemy player rushes in. The primary use of your shotgun should be to play defensively to punish players who jump in recklessly, rather than you using it to play recklessly yourself. You can also use your primary to trade aggro. Even if you're low HP, you can still take peeks with your primary while your teammates are holding the aggro of the enemy team. This allows you to buy time for your teammates, allowing them to rotate around to help you or get an easy defensive shotgun kill from enemies that push in while you're holding an advantageous position. So there you have it. I just want to make a quick video with some small tips that helped me improve over the course of the past two trials weekends. To do a brief recap, play more patiently and dial back the aggression. Position yourself to help your team get kills and put yourself into positions where your team can help you if you get rushed. And finally, utilize your primary weapon more often and use your shotgun for countering overzealous pushes from the enemy team. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to my teammates Patty Cakes and Bunsen. They helped a lot with the construction of this video and helped me formulate my thoughts into words. I'll link their stuff in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found some helpful information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and leave some feedback in the comment section. I'm always looking to improve. I also stream over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Orpheus underscore harp. Be sure to follow my Twitter to connect with me more, and join the Discord to connect with other members of the community. There has been talk of setting up some Elim scrims during the week to better prepare for trials and develop strategies for several maps. Anyways, take it easy y'all, I'll see you in the next one.